do a replacement for the town offices for to raise an appropriate fifteen thousand dollars for the purpose of replacing the exterior doors in the town office building. The doors would be replaced by sliding doors to prevent wind damages that are a continuing problem. Maintenance of the doors, mostly from wind damage, has expended the sum of eleven thousand one hundred and fifty three dollars since two thousand and nine, and expenses are continuing. Majority vote required. Board of Selectmen recommended four zero. And do I have a motion to Moved by uh, Mike Plouf, seconded by Regina. Any? Would you like to discuss this at all, Fred? It seems pretty obvious that. Well, as you <laughs> perhaps came in tonight, you notice that one of the doors is not operable because the uh, the uh, mechanism that governs the door automatically closes it is torn apart by the wind a couple of weeks ago. Uh, we're still trying to get the parts necessary to take it apart to refix it. This has happened now five or six times since last, since last the beginning of last fall. <clears throat> it's getting to be extremely expensive. Um, putting sliding doors in will stop that process, so they won't be able to be grabbed by the wind and right. torn off their hinges. Right. Uh, and that's the intent. It'll be similar to the library. Yeah, the eleven thousand one fifty three is is not the total cost this year yet. Assuming that uh, that door is rebuilt before we uh, we actually get to the end of and the year. And this isn't something you're going to do, try to do out of some of the money that's that you have left this year. No, this is a fairly large operation. By so. Okay, all right. Any uh, discussion from any members here? Um, Chuck had his hand up first. Go ahead, Chuck. I, I think this should be in regular maintenance. Bingo. I mean, well, that'd be fine. But uh, this came up after the regular maintenance and regular budget was approved. Okay, and Jenny, you were going to say I'm the same thing. I'm agreeing with Chuck 100%. This should have been in maintenance, and if it came up after they could have amended the budget. They didn't. They didn't. That's right. They didn't. But it didn't, have, it didn't come up to after the Board of Selectmen had the budget either. Right. Correct? This is a brand new one, I believe. Yeah, we just saw it on So if this yeah. goes down, you're just going to keep repairing what's there, or are you going to find it, uh, find it with leftover money? Because you can't do it if this goes down, right? I don't have any leftover money in the town budget. I've got to replace the roof of this building or keep it fixed. But what I'm saying is if this doesn't get passed, Wait, no they'll have to no. fix it. If it doesn't no pass, then we're going to end up spending thousands of dollars more to keep those doors operating. Right. right. Yeah. So if this is in the regular budget, I've got, you're able to do it. I've got $3,800 $3, in the regular budget for maintenance. That's it. And that's going for roof repair? That's mostly going for roof repair. Right. We discussed that last week, I think. Temporary roof repair. Yeah. They, okay. they indicated yeah. if we do the temporary, right. we should be able to keep the roof for another 8 to 10 years. Jenny, you weren't here last it. week, but we discussed that. But, but wait a minute. You knew you knew before the, a month ago or the budget season that you had a problem with the exterior doors, correct? I got this price just three weeks ago. Okay, you, but they knew it. You knew it. How long have you known that you needed to replace the exterior door? Ten years. Okay. So somewhere in that ten years, we probably should have found the $15,000. Well, that would be good. Okay. Mm -hmm. But okay. we didn't. But we didn't. But we didn't. The, the problem is that I've got probably fifty dollars or $60,000 worth of major repairs to do in this building right now. But I've been told to keep the budget the way it is, and that's the way I've kept it. And we've managed to, to trot along and just do minor repairs to things to keep things running. There are times down here we couldn't even use the toilets in this building because the, the pump system out here hadn't been cleaned since the building was built in 1970 and the pump was put in. The, the, the set tubs down here didn't work because nobody had cleaned the lines in this building since 1970. We had to work at that problem for almost a year to get it resolved. This building is a mess, and we're trying to keep it running without spending a lot of money, and I'm told to keep the budget to a minimum. That's what I've been doing. Should it be that way? No, it probably should not be that way. But you're talking about, Freddie, you're talking about the same problem that's with the wastewater treatment plant, the sewage system. Well, wastewater treatment plant's a whole different issue. But, I mean, it's the same thing in roads. We patched and we scraped and, you know... We got to figure this out somehow. I don't know how. I, I, I don't disagree with that. Okay, and the long longer before I came here, the town has had five studies of the wastewater treatment plant. Every one of those studies has recommended spending millions of dollars to bring it back into shape, and every one of them has not been voted. That's the problem because okay. the money is huge, 
And how do you do this staggered over a period of time? We're about to come in with another major warrant. I think it's Jermaine, Mr. Chairman. I don't know. No, it is. It is. And I think that, generally, <coughs> you know, the solution is that um, perhaps you should be budgeting $365 a year and every day buy a lottery ticket. And maybe you might win $500 million, and then we can fix everything all at once. I, I'd love to win $500 million <laughs> and fix everything. And then we can fix it all at once, but that's, then there's reality. You're not going to win. You know? and, but, Steve, that's the problem that the town is facing today, is that we've had to put up by catastrophes that happened, projects right. that needed to be done, i.e. sidewalks, i.e. wastewater treatment plants, i.e. roads. I.e. roads. And we've got to figure out how do we fix Life it. Life throws all these things at us, and we deal with them one at a time. No, we, we have been remits in doing it. And, and Ginny brings up roads. For many years, the town had in the budget X number of hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to fix roads. And the budget committee said, we don't need this anymore, and they took it out. You, you try to put several hundred thousand dollars extra into the town budget, right. and it defaults which means you don't have anything again. So the same with sidewalks. Uh, we, we had this discussion here a couple of weeks ago. We got a warrant article for sidewalks, and we got some money in the budget for sidewalks. Why have, do we have the warrant article? Because the budget committee cut the money out of the budget, so we can't do the sidewalks. So we have to do the warrant article in order to get enough money to have a contractor come in and do the work. You can't keep on doing that. What's going to happen is you're going to have a catastrophic failure somewhere and you're not going to have the money to do it. It's going to be an emergency. You're going to be in court looking for a special appropriation. That's what you're up to in the, the wastewater treatment plant. We have things down there in the normal plant that were replaced in 1974. In the normal plant in any other town, they would have already been replaced twice. We haven't even replaced them once. We lost a $48,000 pump just, just a few day. days ago. Right which we had to get, thank God we've got the money in an emergency appropriation account. Mm -hmm. If we didn't have that money and we couldn't fix that pump and the second pump failed, don't flush because right. we're not going to be able to process the material. It's and, that bad. Yeah. Okay. And, I, and I understand. This building's no exception to the no, rule. No, it isn't. And the thing is that, the thing is that, and I'm going to be very quick about this because I'm looking at the clock I there, understand. Um, is that last night we had a village district meeting and we had somebody from uh, Rockingham Planning talking about flooding. Oh, yeah. And flooding is something that we're not going to be able to ignore neither. Okay, And it's not something the town of Hampton is going to be able to handle by itself. It's a huge problem. There are a lot of things. There are a lot of things. Sometimes you wonder if you should get out of bed in the morning. But, <laughs> but chipping away a little at a time, doing what you're trying to do best, and, and unfortunately there's so many things coming so quickly. It's, and it's, it's, it's like the street lighting at the beach. We had a great plan. We actually put the facility in, except for the lights and the wiring. Right. And and I've been trying for the last ten years to get uh, the last eight years to get back to it. And we're back to it this year. Right. Because we need to finish that process. Even if it's just a hundred thousand dollars a year, we need to do it. It's like rebuilding Route One A and doing the sidewalks, okay? It, and the bridge, it needs to be done. There's no question about it. And we need to get together and get it done. So we need to start thinking about some of these things. You'll notice that this year in warrant articles, we cut over $2.5 million of our standard warrant articles out of the budget so we can get some of these projects done. Right. Because they're just not going to get done by themselves. And so I'm not, I, I, I just want to say, I'm not against this, but I think th this, this has a better chance of going down and, and a warrant article, when people look fifteen thousand for a door, they don't understand that it has to be Probably done. Probably not, but but we, if it's in your budget, the, we looked at defaulting the budget. That was one of our concerns. <laughs> okay. So, having said all of that, I have one thing to say. Okay, you're going to have to. We're going to have to move along here question. because we were not going to be able to finish this other. It, it won't take article. ten but seconds. Go ahead, go ahead, David. We've got it. No, no, go ahead. Since two thousand nine, eleven thousand dollars in repairs. Fix the door and get it fixed right. Period. Well, you can't fix it because the wind keeps taking it and blowing it. I know it. what I'm saying. That they're going to fix it when they get the right. Well, that's what that's this is all about. And right. it explains that right there. That's, that's exactly all. right, Tim. Are they power sliding doors, Fred? Thank you, fine. Are they powered? Yes, they are. Yeah. Be like the library. That includes the electrical system and all. Right. Yeah. Have else? you considered putting petitions that will block the wind? 
so that the doors don't get blown by the wind? We could do that, but then we'd have to move the sidewalk out because the, those, those petitions would have to move out further and the sidewalk would have to move out further. We looked at that. It's, it's difficult because the main force of wind comes right down when it kind of rose. So and the door that's usually broken is the one that's broken now, which is the one that intercepts the wind going towards the east. So the petitions wouldn't help that. Thank you. Okay. We thought about it. Can we all set to vote? I'd be putting cardboard boxes out there if I yeah. could. <laughs> let's, uh, let's vote on this and and let's show that we do support. Well, the petitions could be a, attractive. You know? Oh, it'd yeah. be very attractive. I'm Put sure. a sign on them yeah. or so whatever. Yeah. Eat it, Joe's. Yeah. All, all those that was, in favor? We can do that with sliding doors, too, though, right? Yeah. All those in favor of this? <laughs> Tim, are you... I'm raising my hand, Mr. Chairman. Tim, okay, everybody. Unanimous. Thank you very much.